yarn and cake my name is Brenda the Nubby Crochet and in this video we are going to do a tutorial on the Paris stitch beautiful stitch I came across it not too long ago I've used it a couple times already to do some baby blankets and I, I am loving it I'm loving the airiness of it I love the way the edges kind of scallop and gives you a really pretty uh, border look and it ju it's just to me a very pretty uh, um, Stitch has become another one of my go-to stitch. You guys know my Suzette stitch is my number one. Then I I discovered the Waddle stitch, which I truly enjoy as well. And then the Paris stitch has become also a go-to. So um, I want to give you guys a uh, take a look at what it looks like. This is the Paris stitch using the Moya yarn, uh, shimmer in the color glow. Look how beautiful that is the stitch definition it's just so beautiful I think it's it's just lovely and look at the at the border the way it comes out it's like a little scalloped edge beautiful and then this is using uh, Bernard baby softy cotton so you guys can see it look at that stitch definition the way it looks, how beautiful is that? And this is just um, uh, some scrap yarn that I had from a while ago and I wanted to um, use it up so I um, mix match with these colors and kind of created a, a stripe pattern of my own. There's uh, all different sizes, just very pretty. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be learning today, guys the Paris stitch so what do you say let's get going but before that if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe hit the um, um, hit the, the button so you don't miss any um, notification button hello I'll get it <laughs> so you don't miss any of my videos uh, or my upcoming tutorials and uh, yeah just so become a member not a member a subscriber I don't have memberships in my channel it's very laid back very easy Anybody can join, anybody can watch. There's no membership, just subscribe to my channel. So, I ask, give a thumbs up. And if you want to give me some feedback, constructive feedback is always welcome. So, let's get going. Let's head down and get this going. Check this out. Hi, guys. Let's get started with the Paris stitch. I'm using uh, a prim 4.5 millimeter hook and 100% acrylic yarn. This is the Bernat Baby Softy Stripes. One of the only um, acrylic yarns that you'll find in my, sh in, my, in my stash. So we will start with a base chain or a foundation chain of three plus one. One, two, three. One, two, three one two three one two three and one two three plus one for your foundation chain so on the fourth um, stitch from the hook we're going to do a double crochet one two three four We're going to chain two, one, two. And we're going to do a single crochet in the same space where you did the double crochet. Okay. Then you're going to skip one, two, and in the next chain, you're going to do another uh, double crochet, chain two, single crochet. Get started. Chain two and single crochet again. Okay, again, a double crochet, skip two, one, two, and in the next one, you're going to do a double crochet. chain two and single crochet get 
get some yarn going here. Skip two chains. Double crochet, chain two, and single crochet on the same stitch. Again, one, two on the last stitch, you're going to do the very same, very same double crochet. Chain two and single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, then you're going to do chain three, one, two, three. You're going to turn your work, and on the chain space, the two chain space that we have here. get this out of the way here so you can see in this chain space here you're going to do a double crochet chain two single crochet then you're going to go straight to the next chain two and you're going to do a double crochet chain two single crochet then you're going to go into the next chain two space and you're going to do that across the board okay and that is basically the repeat on every single row so let's get started. Let's keep going here. So we're going to do a double crochet, chain two, single crochet, double crochet, chain two, single crochet in the same space, double crochet, chain two, single crochet, double crochet, oops, chain two and single crochet in the same space, the last one double crochet, chain two, single crochet. You're going to finish here in the single crochet and you're going to chain one, two, three, turn your work and you're going to do the same thing all over again. Double crochet and the chain two space, chain two and single crochet. Double crochet on the chain two space, chain two and single crochet double crochet, chain two, single crochet in the same chain space, and double crochet on the next one, chain two, single crochet, and double crochet on the next chain two space, chain two, single crochet, and one, two, three, and turn. Again, we're going to double crochet into the chain two space, chain two, single crochet, and get some more yarn. Double crochet, chain two, single crochet in the same space, double crochet on the next chain two space, chain two, single crochet, double crochet in the next chain two space, chain two, single crochet, and double crochet in the same, in the next, next chain two space, chain two, and single crochet in that same space. Chain three and we're going to turn. You see how that um, Chain three is creating a little bit of a scallop, and that's how that those that border comes out that way. I think it looks really pretty um, when it's a fin when the, once the item is finished. Once again, let's do one last row. One, two, three. Turn your work. 
double crochet in that chain 2 space, chain 2, single crochet in the same space, double crochet in the next, chain 2 space, chain 2, single crochet, double crochet in the next, chain 2 space, chain 2, single crochet in the same space, double crochet in the next chain 2 space chain 2 single crochet and finally double crochet double crochet in the last chain 2 space chain 2 and single crochet in the same space and that is your Paris stitch. What do, you, what do you guys think? Let's see if I can get closer so you guys can see if I can get, get you a little closer and we'll do one more row. What do you think? I'm trying to make sure I'm on camera here. So one, two, three, turn your work, double crochet on your first chain two space, one, two, two chains, single crochet in the same space, double crochet into the next, chain two space, one, two, two chains, and single crochet into that same chain space, double crochet into, oops, into the next chain two space, chain two, and single crochet into that same chain two space, double crochet into the next chain two space, chain two, single crochet into the same chain space, double crochet into the next two chain space, chain two and single crochet into that same chain space and to go to the next row you simply chain three you turn your work and you start all over again look at that what do you guys think I think it's beautiful I love the way the edges come out like this like a little scallop I think it makes gives it a beautiful look great for baby blankets um, it gives it a little bit different of a texture uh, somewhat airy as well which is always good babies don't want to be too hot either so keep that in mind and uh, I hope that you enjoy it guys so once again this is the Paris stitch I use it for uh, many of my baby I've been using it for uh, a couple baby blankets that I did I showed you in the beginning of the video and I really hope you enjoyed it and until the next time I hope you guys are having a blessed morning noon night wherever you are in the world God bless each and every one of you guys from the Yarny Cave. Peace. I love you all. Bye-bye. See you soon.